The anniversary of the outbreak of World War II is an occasion to bring up war reparations, which those in power would like to forget. Is there a chance that the appeal to international organizations made by President Dan J. Tusk will bear fruit and Poles will receive their World War II reparations? Today, I look more closely at the situation. If there is destruction, reparation is due. If there is blame for it, the guilty party is responsible. This is what we expect. And this is the expectation of Polish society for which the responsibility lies with the Polish authorities. And the Polish authorities should demand it. And I firmly believe that they will demand it until it happens. And I hope that we will have the honest support of the international community in this regard as well. According to all international declarations, war crimes are not time-barred and can be claimed at any time. This was confirmed in May 2023 at a conference, the Council of Europe Summit in Reykjavik, where all member countries of the Council of Europe signed the final declaration. But the Polish government has closed the reparations issue. And Chancellor Schultz also speaks openly about it, and that is the advantage of this meeting, that in a formal and legal sense, reparations from Germany's point of view are closed. Why? Donald Tusk, together with the German government, invoked the signature of a document from the government of Bolesław Bierut in 1951. But Poles, although they have forgiven, have not forgotten the injustices. But forgiveness and acknowledgement of guilt is one thing, and reparations for damages is another. Reconciliation after war conflicts is possible only if the aggressor country pays war reparations to the victim country. I think that pressure always makes sense, and this pressure, if it is exerted for many years, if it is widely promoted as to what happened in Poland during World War II, what are justifications for reparation claims, compensation claims, it may have some effect. Please note that this is a process. In principle, the German public knows nothing about the course of World War II and the occupation of Polish lands. On the 1st of September 2022, a report on war losses was published. A diplomatic note was sent to the German government by the United Right government. The topic was also raised in international organizations. The President of the United States knows about the issue. The State Department knows. The head of all major international organizations also know about the matter. This topic must be settled in Polish-German relations. The key is our pressure, domestic pressure, international pressure, that will lead in the future to the settlement of this issue in the form of an international agreement. However, the current government's political will to pursue reparations is not there. According to the war loss report, Germany owes Poland six trillion złoty. Edita Holdinska, TV Republica. The end of the summer vacation has become a reality. It's time to go back to school. Are you happy to meet your classmates, your colleagues? Yes, sir. She was really looking forward to the start of the school year. She was very eager to get up. Are you happy to be back at school? Yes. Why? I don't know, because I have my friend. However, the school that students are returning to is changing a lot. Fourth graders will not receive free laptops. Civic Platform always says that there is no money and there will not be. At the same time will be the case with this program. Let me remind you that in addition to students, laptops are also given to teachers. Starting next school year, religion lessons will be reduced to one per week. And already this school year, there will be combined lessons with children from different years and grades being combined into one class. A strong voice of opposition came from Mielets, where Education Minister Barbara Novatska took part in the academy to start the school year. Several hundred people took part in the spontaneous protest. For the eradication of religious lessons from schools, for the fact that patriotic readings are being thrown out of schools, for the gradual ideologization, we say a firm no to this. Hierarchs of the Catholic Church, in a letter to the faithful, appeal for parents to react to attempts to secularize their children. What is needed is respect, respect for those values in which parents want to raise their children. This cannot be destroyed in any way. We do not agree with indoctrination in schools, including all kinds of ideas of Minister Barbara Nowatska, who simply wants to influence our children. The Coalition to Save Polish School has submitted a petition to the Ministry of Education. It concerns, among other things, plan to introduce the compulsory subject health education into Polish schools. It assumes the elimination of the subject of upbringing for family life. We do not want compulsory sex education under the guise of health education in Polish schools. 
Education Minister Barbara Novatska doesn't listen to the voices of protest and the wishes of students. I wish you enthusiasm, curiosity about the world and perseverance in acquiring knowledge. Indeed, a lot of perseverance will be needed because the Ministry decided at the end of June to reduce the core curriculum by 20%. On top of that, the list of compulsory reading will be changed. Books such as In Desert and Wilderness by Henrik Schenkiewicz and Death of a Colonel by Adam Mickiewicz will disappear from it. Pantadeus will be read by students in fragments only. Unfortunately, Donald Tusk has given education to leftist radicals. There will also be some new things. What kind of things? A Polish-German history textbook. Someone who either has impure intentions or is of unsound mind allowed a German-Polish team to write a textbook on Polish history. Why an unsound mind or a traitor? because there are only two such possibilities, because the Germans have consistently begun to explain to their people that, in fact, the Germans were also victims of World War II, because some Nazis invaded them. A real leftist revolution is underway in Polish schools, the mind without looking at the dire consequences in the future. The most pity is for the children, because they are the future of our nation. Łukasz Nuda, TV Republika. It's just over two months until the presidential election, and America is divided. Me here to show my support. Trump is, we were better off while he was in presidency. Um, everybody was. The number one reason I support Kamala Harris is that she's intelligent enough to listen to her advisors, whereas Trump was so ignorant. Wow, thank you very much. But it is Donald Trump who talks about the issues that are important to Americans, while Kamala Harris says very little. It's much easier to be a Democrat, let me put it that way. Apparently if, you don't have to were, take any interviews. That's right, you don't, have to, you don't have to do anything. We saw that the other night. And you won't see too many more interviews, and I have a debate coming up with this one. And she didn't, she didn't want a debate. Coming up on the 10th of September, the Democratic and Republican candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump will face each other in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is one of the key states in this presidential election. The debate will last one hour and a half and will be shown by the ABC station. Kamala Harris's staff is terrified by the vision of a debate with Donald Trump. Democrats are afraid of tough questions and even more afraid of the answers their candidate will give. Americans are waiting for answers. It's enough for Trump to ask about issues of inflation, security in big cities and on the southern border. Also foreign policy issues of these failures, wars and these conflicts that are taking place. It's enough for Trump to bring this up again. That's why the Democrat has already refused a debate that was supposed to take place on Fox News TV on Wednesday. She agreed only to the debate on ABC television, which is sympathetic to her. Whether there will be further debates is unknown. Probably much depends on how Harris performs. That one-on-one -on -one moment with each other. And let's not forget, the only other presidential debate that's happened in the general election cycle. The election is more than two months when Americans still don't know how Kamala Harris wants to keep them safe, how she plans to rebuild the economy, and what foreign policy she will pursue. After 43 days, she gave an interview to CNN, a television channel sympathetic to her, and even there she didn't perform well. And at rallies, she also avoids tough questions. Instead, she excels at substitute topics. Fight for freedom. Like the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body. Rival Donald Trump is clear about the most important issues for Americans. His presidency will mean investing in the American economy, deporting illegal immigrants, strengthening borders and alliances. I don't always agree with everything he does or says, but I think for the most part, his beliefs are my beliefs and I want a better economy, a better country, a safe country. America is a superpower in dire need of a strong leader after four years under Joe Biden. Martin Shevchak, TV Republica.